Welcome back to the Sports Dungeon. I'm your host, Lauren Tepper. As you guys can see, Coach Tommy Tice is sitting next to me, and we're talking the Lyndall Thomas Classics, presented to you by Magnus Toyota. You know what, Coach? We, uh, we're talking a little bit about all the things that go on with it. You wanted to mention some of these sponsors that it takes to help put this on. Well, we, we talked about it being a Harrison. It's actually a Harrison event. I know that we talk about a committee, but it, like we mentioned earlier, it takes everybody in this community, from those that welcome them, say hi to these teams, make the people feel you know warm, and come out and watch and root them on. Whether you know the kids or not, if you like basketball and you and you really want to you know help support these people, come out and watch them play. Oh yeah, and the, they'll see a great mm -hmm. uh, you know great play by the players. But uh, you know we have major contributors, you know like Arvest mm -hmm. Bank mm -hmm. and uh, First National Bank of Green Forest and uh, Regions. Uh, bank and Community First Bank and First Federal Bank. All these are major contributors to this uh, this tournament and this effort. Uh, you know, again, our great thanks to the to Matt and Bill. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at Magnus Toyota for presenting this tournament year in year mm -hmm. out. Twenty, like I say, twenty three years of it. But uh, like I say, all they got to do is get here. We'll even fill their bus up That's with right. gas. You know, Steve Turner takes mm -hmm. care of us, and and uh, we you know we tell them all you got to do is get here and we'll get you back home. You know. Yeah. And uh, knock on wood, we haven't had we had one snowed out one time, <laughs> and uh, and didn't get to play, and that was about ten years ago. But we've stayed away from that pretty good. But uh, even on the days when the gymnasium flooded with the water, just kind of pushed it back and made it work. It back, you know, we hauled in all kinds of porta potties and things like that, and bottled water, and and, and we kept her going. Still kept going, you know. But uh, also, you know, each team has a host. Mm -hmm. And they have called these coaches. I get the coaches' cell phone numbers and give them to those hosts. And they've already called them two or three times. They're ready for, you know, and most of them, uh, you know, you talk about, uh, you know, uh, people like Shorty Ozier, Bill <laughs> Huber, and, and Fink, Carl Fink, oh, my, our, be our MVP there. committee, you know. They never make a mistake picking the MVP. <laughs> we pick an MVP and a Hustle uh, Award winner for every, every game. game. And, uh uh, those guys uh, do that for us, but those hosts are very important because they take care of every need from washing uniforms to arranging meals to arranging practice times and things like that. And, uh, you know, we've everybody tells us that comes this tournament's the best tournament that they've ever been to. So, uh, you know, we want to keep that reputation and that we want to keep that for Harrison and the community. You get Dan Cheryl to do something, right? Dan Cheryl, you know, <laughs> gosh. Dan takes care of our game programs. Mm -hmm. He does all that. Like I say, that's one of those assignments. And Dan's another one of the original committee members, mm -hmm. and uh, and he yeah. like, but he likes the hosting the team thing. Oh, he loves He's, that. You yeah. know, he really comes out of the woodworks for that. You know, he uh, you know he takes care of. Them. He you does. Know, he's uh, he's had a big hand in that, and, and uh, but uh, you know he'll also be on the clock, and we'll have several people mm -hmm. work uh, as announcers and things like that, and everybody just pitches in. All of our football coaches, I'm real proud of them. They all take a turn with the book or the clock. Uh, give up a day of their Christmas break mm -hmm. to come help out, and we really appreciate those people. And uh, and it's exciting um, that, like I said, this is a community effort, and we all come together to make this work. It's really a feel good mm -hmm. thing, uh, Lauren, because uh, you know uh, we get a chance to put our community out there on display, and we want to make sure that the shoe that we put out there in front has is a shiny one, right. and that people, when they leave here and go back home to their communities, we've had several of them call about how do you know how do you do that? How do you put that on? And other people have tried it, mm -hmm. and they Can't haven't do been it. able to do it because you have to have everybody involved to do it. Now, one thing we haven't talked about, of course, is gate prices. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be uh, five dollars for adults, three dollars for students, but a tournament pass. It's the is, way to go. It is the way to go because you can buy those tournament passes for twenty dollars for adults and ten dollars, you know, for students. So that's a good deal. Here, let me let me put a word out. Okay, Bergman Panthers fans, buy the tournament pass. Okay, <laughs> I'm telling you that right up front. When you show up to, for game one, when the Lady Panthers are playing Russellville. Uh, right out of the gate, okay, buy the tournament pass because then you can leave and come back and watch the, the Bergman Panthers play in the afternoon session. It won't cost you anything more. That's right? True. Am I right? Well, uh, you're, you're pretty well right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the two <laughs> sessions, uh, that's the best way to go is the tournament right. pass. Mm -hmm. The way to go because if you come back, if you play in the morning and then you turn around and play in the evening, then you have to play, right. play twice uh, to go because it's uh, three games. If you look at it this way, uh, it's two games in, or excuse me, four, four games, games in the morning session, what we call the morning session, and four games in the afternoon and evening. So if you know basketball junkies like you mm -hmm. and I are, uh, that's that's uh, eight ball games. Uh, you know, 
for a total of what ten dollars mm -hmm. you know i mean my gosh how are you gonna beat that kind of entertainment anywhere right you, you sure can't. can't you know can't rent a video or no you know anything <laughs> like that but uh, we do honor passes uh senior citizen passes hall of fame passes and any triple a pass mm -hmm. uh we will honor those passes at the gate but the way to go is the, the tournament the pass. tournament pass it's the way to go it uh i was telling uh, I was telling uh, some Bergman Panther fans, and that's why I kind of made the reference to that is about that because they were talking about them playing in the two different sessions. But I said, buy the pass. It's buy cheaper pass. that way because you're going to go three days in a row. No, If you're a fan of one, you're going to go three days in a row. You're going to get intermixed. You might as well buy the pass. You're, you're, you're ahead that way. Exactly. And we'll also uh, – one thing we do too for like our local teams, mm -hmm. we, we send – we give them a check. Mm -hmm. Uh, give them some money at the end of the tournament uh, to take back where they can put into their athletic department or however they want to, you know, what they what they want to do with it. Uh, so uh, you will be you will be helping your team uh, because, like I say, we do kick back uh, money to those schools right. for attending because they don't get to stay in a motel or eat the yeah. restaurant things like that. And so we try to take care of them too. And I and I and I want people to understand that that is we do the committee and the the organization that puts this on. If you're involved with this, you are going to be uh, taken care of. Whether you're a local team and you're not staying in the hotel, you're driving home, as Coach says, you know, th they do pay you to participate uh, in your athletic department. If your team coming from out of town, the Paragoulds, the Heber Springs, you know, they're giving you a hotel room, you're feeding you, they're taking care of you, they're filling your gas up with bu – uh, filling your bus up with gas to send you on back home exactly. when it's over with. You know, uh, but all of this is, is part of being part of this community. Well, the one thing teams really like that come from out of town, Lauren, is, is they get to bring their teams in and stay for three days. Mm -hmm. And they're there. And, and that bonding right before that conference race starts in January is very important because they'll come in here, they'll spend three days together as a team, they'll eat as a, you know, eat as a team, mm -hmm. uh, they'll go to practice. I mean, they've got them right there. Together. And of course, they'll do some things, one fun things with them too. They'll take them to movies, Please. they'll go to Branson, they'll go you know, here in town and let them shop and right. things like that. Uh, you know, and anything they can find for them to do in, in between that layover mm -hmm. between one game and the next. And, uh, of course, there's no telling. You know, Sherry White comes in, there's no telling what they'll do. They may karaoke <laughs> or whatever, but... She has uh, she one of the things that I've always marveled at uh, Sherry is that her her ability to build a team and bond a team together and have a little fun with it and have fun with it and uh, uh, you know uh, everybody seems to have that kind of attitude of you know boy let's 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 get after this thing and uh, do the best we can but it's an opportunity for those coaches to be with those teams in three days and and really uh, get close with them and. Uh, you know, really mold that team together. Let's talk a little bit real quick because we're almost out of time. A little bit about the rules changes. We play halves instead of quarters. That's you right. play 16-minute halves mm -hmm. uh, instead of uh, instead of quarters. It's just kind of a, the way it sets up for you. That's really the only big rules change other than we That's give it. an MVP and a hustle award at the end of each game, um, which is exciting. Um, come on out. We want you to come out, buy the tournament pass, spend three days, see some quality team and the teams that are coming out. Let them know that this is a great place to live and, and how um, – how what a all of the bad things that are ever said about Harrison are are untrue, and this is uh, this is a good place to live, good place to raise a family, and uh, and that we are a community that loves one another. Well, it's still I think it's still you know North Arkansas is still a great uh, hotbed of basketball. Mm -hmm. You know we mentioned those teams in the Hall of Fame. You know in 1967, I think there were five classifications and all fly, five classifications were won by teams above I forty. Wow. You know, you had Northside, you had uh, Payette that won mm. it, you had Green Forest that won it, you had Harrison that won it. Maybe there were just four classifications, <laughs> not sure. I think there were. Uh, it's North Arkansas hotbed of basketball. Always have been. Uh, we've always had great pride in our basketball teams, uh, took great pride in supporting uh, the teams from the local schools in their efforts to get to the state tournament and things like that. So this is kind of a chance that uh, we get to kind of get a preview of what the state tournament is going to look like because we've got some great teams yeah. coming in. Coach, appreciate it every year you come on. and we uh, I uh, love the fact you come out here and we talk a little bit and and to get the word out about this. Don't forget, it's next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 27th, 28th, and 29th. Games start at 11, go all three days, uh, two sessions, um, roughly starting every hour and 15 minutes apart, 11, 12, 15, 1.30, 
245 is what I think yes. And then it starts, picks up back up at 5 o'clock and goes all the way out to 845 all three days. So come on out, help support the Lendl Thomas Classic presented to you by Magnus Toyota. This has been the Sports Dungeon Coach. Appreciate you being here. and Thank you very much for coming by. Until next time, I'm your host, Lauren Tepper, and this is the Sports Dungeon.